And here is Giggs in this outside left position. Now can he roast them from here? There's his cross, it's a deep one, and it's a very deep one to Sheringham! And it's there! Sheringham has made it 1-1! A terrific reply from Manchester United! With Giggs in that irresistible form down that left touchline. And what a cross this is under pressure! And what a leap it is for Teddy Sheringham! Jonsson's up there as well. It's a good spell, this, for Manchester United, as I said before. And they might just finish it off here. It might just finish it off here. They have! Paul Stones has made it 2-1. They are surrounding the referee of Juventus. They are complaining about that one, but the goal stands. And Paul Stones. And here's Giggs. Goal. Oh, with gross respect, whether it's going in or not is not relevant to the penalty decision. Here's Beckham hooked in towards Sheringham. Peruzzi stretched again. In goes Cole. In goes Giggs. He's got it. A lifeline for Manchester United has been thrown out by Ryan Giggs in stoppage time at Old Trafford. They press and press, and eventually they were rewarded. Beckham with the corner. It's towards Keane. Roy Keane with a captain's goal for Manchester United. Game on. He's pulled them back to 2-1. Manchester United have countered the away goal they conceded at Old Trafford. Another one would put them in the box seat. Great delivery, but it's all made by the speed, the pace, and the drive and the guts of the captain. Beckham's headed down. This is Cole. It's towards York. It's 2 2. Dwight York has equalised for Manchester United. And they have seen the Juventus away goal, and they have raised it. As things stand, it's United who go through. And the promised land is inside again, the 29th of May, 1968. The last final. York, he skipped through, it's Dwight York, he's brought down by Peruzzi, Carl will finish it off, full speed ahead, Barcelona! Manchester United are in sight of the European Cup final again. Andy Cole has surely made that a certainty now. Beckham towards Brown, it's in! West Brown's first goal for Manchester United comes after just three minutes. It's as if the winter break has never happened. They're winning again in the Champions League. All the talk about Beckham before the match does ever so well here. You know, takes the corner, I think, before Montero can get back into his central position. Oh, he's a target. Shirts, he is a target. Going. <laughs> Beckham's got it back. That's a crafty ball in the back. Mr. Roy! for Manchester United via the most familiar goal scorer, Ruud van Nistelrooy. He'll need another shirt, but Manchester United have another three Champions League points. He's deserved that for a position. I just wonder if Davids hadn't have had that ball, if there'd have been quite the desire to win it back. Precision ball in. In that area where the keeper doesn't like area of uncertainty and he sees only the ball just gets the toe ender into it but that was all about it was all about a the endeavor to win the ball back from david and the precision ball from beckham Giggs lets it run veron it's three against three momentarily veron has got beyond sam Brotter. no free kick ryan Giggs, one nil 
Dream start for Manchester United. Ryan Giggs from the substitutes bench gives them the lead in 15 minutes. Saber Veron made it. Well, that's incredible, isn't it? Two, a load of pressure on the United defence. Shot hits the post, the secondary corner. Clive, don't underestimate the part Solskjaer played in this. He got the ball from the corner. This is the end product. That's a poor pass from Conte. Intercepted by Giggs. His first touch was a little heavy, but he can go on. He's raced away from Ferrara and from Montero. It's Ryan Giggs. It's a truly brilliant goal. The type that only Ryan Giggs can score. And what will that do for him? Saying tonight, possible confidence down. Things haven't been quite going his way. That is vintage gigs. Two goals coming off the bench. It's beginning to look like a bit of a storybook for him. Neville's cross just too long for Van Nistelrooy, but Tudor turns it against the post, and Van Nistelrooy turns it in. Manchester United lead by three goals to nil against Juventus in Turin. And Ruud Van Nistelrooy has just equaled a record. Ten goals in the season of Champions League football, a record he equaled last season. United take on Juventus once again in Europe. And you can relive our rivalry with the old lady on MUTV as Red Rivalries takes you through all the greatest moments from the crunching tackles to those epic strikes. Here's Giggs. With the glittering cast of footballing legends. Red Rivalries, Juventus on MUTV.